Airplane crashes, also referred to as aviation accidents or air disasters, are tragic events involving the loss of aircraft, passengers, and crew members. These incidents can result in significant loss of life, injuries, and damage to property. Airplane crashes can occur for various reasons, including mechanical failures, human errors, adverse weather conditions, or intentional acts. Following an airplane crash, detailed investigations are conducted to determine the causes and contributing factors. These investigations involve aviation authorities, government agencies, and aviation experts. The findings help identify safety improvements and preventive measures to mitigate similar accidents in the future. Today, we'll take a look at the five biggest airplane crashes not caused by an intentional act. Saudia Flight 163 Saudia Flight 163 was a tragic aviation disaster that occurred on August 19, 1980 and cost the lives of all 301 passengers and crew members on board. The plane, a Lockheed L-1011 TriStar, a wide-body passenger jet, was on a scheduled domestic passenger flight within Saudi Arabia. Shortly after takeoff from Riyadh's King Khalid International Airport, a fire broke out in the aircraft's lower cargo hold. The crew was alerted to the fire by a warning light in the cockpit, but they were unable to establish communication with the air traffic control tower to request an emergency landing. The crew continued to circle the airport for over half an hour, attempting to troubleshoot and address the problem before initiating a landing. When the aircraft finally attempted an emergency landing, it touched down on the runway, but the fire intensified rapidly. The crew were unable to open the emergency doors due to the engines running. Tragically, the aircraft was consumed by the flames before passengers could evacuate. Turkish Airlines Flight 981 Turkish Airlines Flight 981 also known as the Ermanonville Air Disaster, was a tragic aviation accident that occurred on March 3, 1974. All 335 passengers and 11 crew members on board lost their lives in the crash of the McDonnell Douglas District of Columbia 10. Approximately 10 minutes after takeoff from Orly Airport in Paris, the rear cargo door of the aircraft unexpectedly opened during flight. The sudden opening of the cargo door caused a rapid decompression of the aircraft's cabin. The force of the decompression resulted in the detachment of the rear-mounted engine and damaged control cables, leading to the loss of control of the aircraft. The failure of the cargo door resulted from a design flaw and improper maintenance practices. The plane subsequently crashed into a forest near the town of Ermanonville, France. The 1996 charkai Dadri Midair Collision the 1996 charkai Dadri mid-air collision occurred on November 12, 1996 when Saudi Arabian Airlines Flight 763, a Boeing 747-168B, collided in mid-air with Kazakhstan Airlines Flight 1907 and Ilyushin IL-76TD. All 312 occupants of the Boeing and 37 occupants of the Ilyushin tragically lost their lives. The crash occurred over the village of charkai Dadri, Haryana, India. An extensive investigation was carried out to determine the cause of the collision. The investigation involved multiple agencies, including aviation authorities from India, Saudi Arabia, and Kazakhstan. The primary focus was on determining the breakdowns in communication and air traffic control procedures that contributed to the accident. Japan Airlines Flight 123 Japan Airlines Flight 123, also known as JAL Flight 123, was a tragic aviation disaster that occurred on August 12, 1985. This crash of the Boeing 747-SR resulted in the immediate deaths of 520 passengers and crew members on board. It remains the deadliest single aircraft accident in history. Approximately 12 minutes into the flight, while cruising at an altitude of about 26,000 feet, the aircraft suffered a catastrophic structural failure. A section of the rear pressure bulkhead of the aircraft, located near the tail, had previously been repaired improperly following a tail strike incident seven years earlier. 
The failure of the rear pressure bulkhead caused the vertical stabilizer and part of the tail fin to separate from the aircraft. This resulted in the loss of crucial flight controls and caused the plane to enter a severe roll and pitch up condition. The plane crashed into a mountain ridge near Mount Osataka, 62 miles northwest of Tokyo. Four individuals initially survived the impact, but one of them later succumbed to injuries. The other three survivors endured a harrowing ordeal before being rescued several days later. The Tenerife Airport Disaster The Tenerife Airport Disaster occurred on March 27, 1977, at Los Rodeos Airport in Spain. It remains the deadliest aviation accident in history. The disaster resulted from a collision between two Boeing 747 aircrafts, KLM Flight 4805 and Pan Am Flight 1736. The collision resulted in the deaths of all 248 passengers and crew on board the KLM aircraft and 335 passengers and crew on board the Pan Am aircraft. In total, 583 people lost their lives in the accident. Only 61 individuals from the Pan Am aircraft survived, while there were no survivors from the KLM aircraft. Both aircraft had been diverted to Los Rodeos Airport due to a bomb threat at their intended destination, Gran Canaria Airport, in the Canary Islands. Thick fog covered the airport at the time of the collision, severely limiting visibility. The air traffic controllers faced difficulties in managing the diverted aircraft on the ground. Miscommunications and misunderstandings occurred between the air traffic control and the flight crews due to various factors, including language barriers and radio congestion. The KLM aircraft, attempting to take off, collided with the Pan Am aircraft, which was still on the runway. The KLM plane became airborne briefly but crashed back onto the runway, while the Pan Am plane was engulfed in flames. Both aircraft were destroyed in the collision and subsequent fire. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like and subscribe.